Hello and welcome to my uh, presentation on sample size calculation. Today, I would like to discuss on sample size calculation for randomized control trial, and we will discuss practically. We sincerely acknowledge the following organization and website. To calculate a sample size, we may use a practical example. Let us consider an outcome variable such as disease or any other health related indicators. A new treatment as exposure. Then a research question is that treatment, there is any impact of new treatment effect on outcome. Based on the, the question, a hypothesis is that after giving a new treatment, prevalence of outcome will be reduced by a 25 percentage point from traditional treatment. We have to conduct a study to test hypothesis and experimental study design will be a base design. Participant will be assigned into two or more groups randomly. One group will be control and others will be treatment. And this experimental design will be called a randomized control trial. This is a study population, consider two groups. One is treatment, other is control. Now, we have to select participant in each group randomly. So that we have to calculate the appropriate sample size. N1 and N2 are the sample size corresponding two groups. We have to calculate the values of N1 and N2. And sample size calculation formula depends on hypothesis. This is the two sided hypothesis. Where the alternative hypothesis is that there is no difference between two groups. For the one-sided, P1 is less than P2 or greater than P2. This is two-sided. And based on this formula, based on this, the hypothesis, the formula is, that is the formula. And for alpha value, we use alpha by two for two-sided test. For, for one-sided test, we use only alpha. First, we will describe two-sided hypothesis test. This is the formula of calculating sample size to test the hypothesis that means two-sided test. Where P1 is proportion of outcome from group one, P2 is proportion of outcome from group two, alpha is the level of significance, one minus beta is the power of the test, Z alpha is the Z value corresponding level of significance. Z beta is the Z value corresponding level of power. And N was the appropriate sample size in one group. This is the difference percentage point or effect size. Now we will describe sample size calculation procedure for two-sided test. This is an Excel sheet and we have to input the necessary information based on this formula. Proportion of group one, proportion of group two, 5%, level of significance is 5%, power is 80%, then corresponding the level of significance, Z value is 1.96, based on the 80 percent power the z value is 0.84 then using this formula we can easily calculate sample size in one group presenter that means around 70 percent 70 the sample size and since we use equal sample size in another group then total sample size is 139. 
and consider 20% attrition or norm response rate. Then total sample size is 167. This is the sample size calculation table. And after cost rounding, the total sample size is 168. Now, one sided test. This is the sample size formula of one sided test. And just we use alpha, not alpha by two for one sided test. Just input alpha. Then the Z value is 1.64 and the sample size is 131. Thank you for watching the video.